D-Lo 404 Boxing. All right, y'all. So we just got to the conclusion of David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant. Both guys came into the fight uh, with expectations of trying to uh, get the win and move on to bigger and better things, kind of like uh, in a tournament, you know, the, the best team wins and advances. Um, this was all about advancing to the next step, uh, getting the opportunity to potentially get bigger and better fights. And uh, in this particular, on this particular night, David Benavidez was the one who advanced and Caleb Plant has to take a step back. Um, so I'm eating crow on that because I picked Caleb Plant. But like I said, when I made that pick, I wasn't very confident. And had I picked Benavidez, I wouldn't have been confident of that either. It was just one of those type fights. And these are the type fights we need to be, we need to have made in the sport. Great fight. Um, great night of boxing. Benavidez came out and, um, you know, had his, had his issues with being too flat-footed at times and plant stabbing him to the body with the jab. Um, catching with a hook, occasional hook here and there, occasional right hand here and there. And, um, you know, was just outworking him early on. And, and Benavidez was throwing ones and twos. Um, that wasn't really putting his hands together, wasn't throwing the combination. So it was one of those fights where it was ebb and flow. Uh, initially, Caleb Plant took the lead and he got out front, which was a lot, what a lot of people expected. Um, even those who expected a stoppage the other way. They felt like Caleb Plant would do great work early, fade late, but Avidez would come on and, and, and take the play away from him and, and, and stop him. But it, that wouldn't be the case. Benavidez did take over the fight. After, I'd say, about round seven, um, maybe eight, it was Benavidez rallying off round after round after round after round. Um, Caleb Plant showed a lot of determination and grit um, showed a lot of savvy in there, a lot of awareness, and he found a way to survive, found a way to stay in the fight and uh, engage, stay engaged in the action. But ultimately, uh, David Benavidez was, was a task too tall for him to handle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, after the fight, all of the bad blood seemed to dissipate as what we see a lot of times in the sport of boxing. You have guys who, no matter how they feel about each other going in, after they've done rounds in the ring with each other under those bright lights, they, they tend to have a mutual respect with one another. Their camps have a mutual respect with one another and uh, for one another. And, and it, it typically, um, you know, sometimes you have great relationships that arise out of these type fights. Um, for me, I, I still want to see Caleb playing in action. Um, still think he can make good fights. I still want to see, um, you know, him stay at the division. I, I don't think a move up is the answer for him, but you know, we'll see what he does with, with his career going forward. I think um Benavidez definitely, you know, is, is on the bigger and better fights. You know, after what he did to plant, you know, um we we'll see what's next for him. We know that the Canelo um fight is supposed to be the prize for the winner, but we also hear that Canelo already has other plans already set in motion for his next two fights. So I don't expect Benavidez to stand idle waiting on uh, Canelo. I expect him to get a stay busy fight. Um, and, and, and considering that he was on pay-per-view and he was really excited about this being his first pay-per-view, I, I pretty much expect him to want to be in another um, fight of this type, you know, this magnitude. He's going to want to be in another big fight. So I don't see him fighting, you know, just some kind of, uh, as they say, takeover type opponent just to... Um, you know, get him another one in the books. I expect him to want to fight somebody that's a real, that's a legit contender as well. And, and I expect Caleb Plant to fight somebody that's respectable, but a fight that is perceived to be winnable going in to give him a chance to get his confidence back up, work on some things, and work his way back to try to work his way back into um, contention as being one of the top guys in the division. He was considered one of the top two or three guys in the division, um, especially uh, top two. Uh, without a belt, so if if you look at that and, and think about that going into going into this fight, now coming out of the fight, how far does he fall? Um, that remains to be seen. But what what his choice of a, a next opponent is, um, who he fights next, um, may determine uh, how it appears, how far it appears that he's falling. But like I said, I got a lot of respect for both fighters. Caleb Plant came up short. Uh, Benavidez had moments in there where he, he looked to be on the verge of stopping Caleb Plant, but it wasn't to be. There were no official knockdowns in the fight. 
Uh, there was a nasty headbutt, I think around round eight or so. Um, but ultimately, I don't think the headbutt really played that huge a part in Benavidez getting the win. I think Benavidez was just a better fighter. His, his game plan, um, you know, he seemed to have exercised the game plan to the T. And um, it worked, you know. And Caleb Plant, I'm sure, had a good game plan that he thought would work. And it was working for him until it wasn't. So much respect to both comebacks. Like I said, eager to see both guys back in the ring. I don't think either guy really truly hurt their stock um, tonight. But ultimately, the guy that won deserves to uh, move on to, to greater things. And the guy who took a loss, he, he, he deservingly um, has to take a step back. And we'll, we'll see what taking a step back looks like. That's all I got on this one. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Once again, congrats to David Benavidez and his camp. I'm out. Peace.